What is up everybody? Average model guy bringing it to you from the Average Model Dungeon. Here we are, part one of the build. Now, if you haven't checked out the unboxing video, make sure you go back and check that out. I'm starting off a little different. Um, I went ahead and started putting the drum together just because I knew it was gonna be kind of a pain in the butt and it is to line it up. So I'm gonna show you what I've ran into so far. Uh, gap hasn't been too bad. As you can see, I got some putty down there. That up there is gonna take a lot of work. Um, it just seems like when I push one together, get it all nice and glued, it pops another seam open. So I'm gonna have to work on this back part really good. Um, as you can see the front, I've had to tape it pretty tight just to kind of bend it. Kind of hoping to leave that tape on there for a while, I'll bend that. Um, into a decent shape and as you can see how much it messed up the line coming from this side so i got I got a little bit of work to do to make sure that i get rid of all those seam lines and get that thing nice and round and um yeah so it'll look decent and not oval or egg shaped i want it nice and round because i gotta be able to fit these two pieces on there um try to get it that shape that's what i kind of used as a template to get that round on there so uh, a little bit of work, a little, little bit of tape, some patience and some, some glue. But yeah, I got a little bit more work to get those seams lined up a little bit better. So I will go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and get the parts clipped for the engine. And we'll go ahead and start getting that together. So I'll be back once I get the pieces clipped. Okay, we are back. We are back. And we have our parts snipped. Now I did verify that I have every part for the engine because of the fancy little numbering here. So I verified I got every piece so I don't have to go searching for stuff. Now, I wanna point out, I should have did this while I had this sprue, but this little oil filler cap right here, that little sucker, you think it would be with the rest of the engine parts on the chrome tree? No, it is not, it's on with the wheel parts. So if you're building this model and you're going to look for it and pulling your hair out, it's on that wheel chrome tree, so yeah. Couldn't believe it, but yep. And I've got, of course, I've got Johnny Five here. He's gonna help us assemble this engine as we go here. That's what we're gonna do. I will go ahead and probably get these parts cleaned up. I just snipped them, I didn't clean them. But uh, yeah, we got everything that we need there to assemble this engine. So I will get this put together and I will be back. All right, All right got the engine put back together. Johnny Five's helping me out here. Got everything put on there. What was it? 31 pieces, I think, total for the engine, for this engine. So, um, it wasn't too bad. There's a couple pieces that were a little tricky, but uh, nothing that nobody can't handle. Looks like I got one piece I got to straighten out over there a little bit, but yeah, wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna set it back on there. I'm gonna take it out and get some paint on it actually, get some primer on it. Um, and then, uh, I haven't chosen engine color yet, but uh, yeah, we'll get some primer on it and uh, let that dry for a while here, probably overnight. And I'll throw some paint on it and we'll come back with it all nice and painted up and uh, ready to move on to the wheels. All right, we've got the engine done, here you go. Everything painted up, looking good. So I am going to go ahead and get, I think our next step, if I don't believe, is the wheels. I'm gonna get those snipped out and ready to go. Get them put together and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, I will be right back. Alrighty, alrighty, here's what we got. Got them all laid out in the general position they're supposed to be in. Messed it up a little bit right there, but anyways, gonna be, like so, I am gonna get this all assembled and when I come back, we should have the frame rails complete and uh, we'll go on with the next step. All right, and here's the progress we got. We got the frame rail obviously put together, got the rear suspension on there, our tank, there's our hydraulic pump, spinning around here, front axle's on, shocks are on, 
looking good so far. Gonna put the rear drivetrain on now, uh, get that on there and mounted. Um, let me go ahead and fit our engine in here. Just take a look. There we go. Now it's looking good. <laughs> All right, I will be back when we get the uh, rear, rear drivetrain on. Um, one thing I did want to mention um, when I was putting this on, let me get that engine out of there, is this bar here. Um, it's a cross tube, they call it. Uh, if you're looking at the numbers on the back of the box, let me come over here for you. Um, you know, you come down here, there's 316, and there's like, oh, no 320. But if you come up here, right there's your 320, there's your cross tube. Just to help you out um, on that. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and get that going, and I'll check back in. All right, fellas, got a little. All right, fellas, got a little motivated. Got the entire frame done. Got the engine sitting in there. It's just in there loose. Don't have it in there permanent yet. Got our wheels on. So yep, here is where we at. I call it good for this episode, guys. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you slap that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And the, uh, appreciate uh, everything you guys do for me on this channel. And I will see you in the next video. This is the Average Model Guy signing off from the Average Model Dungeon.